Cutty from Cutty TV in the building, you already know what the f going on. Niggas talking top 10, top 20, top 5. Nigga, you not even top 5. Let me show you what top 5 really is. Niggas want this crown, come and get it. Know that in the f***ing building. Cutty TV, let's go. I got everything. We on everything. Jersey, we on. What's going on, y'all? Look, if you're watching this video, then you live in Los Angeles, California. So congratulations. And if you live in Los Angeles, California, you should follow my Instagram at the official Cuddy. And then click the link in my bio and go to theofficialcuddy.com. I'm a number one book writer and much, much more. But we're not here for me. We're here for the problem that's in this title if you're watching this video. So earlier in the day, I just moved to LA. Um, I live in K-Town. And this morning, it was a motherfucking cockroach about like this goddamn big. Like a New York City cockroach. That shit was humongous. So, if you're going through that, um, I live in an apartment building. We got about six floors. I live in the middle of the fucking city. So, but I live in a very nice apartment. But, uh, whatever. So, if you're experiencing this, I'm going to teach you how to get rid of them motherfuckers. Because we about to get rid of them motherfuckers today. So, make sure you watch this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. And definitely share with somebody inside of LA. Because they're probably going through this. Do not let them trick you. But this is how you get rid of them. Alright, boy. So, you start the recipe off with some eggs. I put six eggs in. I'm going to show you. Yes, I got six eggs in there. They're boiling right there. Put it on high. Now, I'm gonna let these get nice and hard and boiled because you need the yolk that's in the middle of it. You don't need the white part, you need the yolk. So, boil six eggs. That's how you're gonna start this whole process. I'm gonna explain everything and I'm gonna make it real simple for you. This is gonna be the easiest thing that you're gonna make. So, boil six eggs, hard boiled, and let me know when, you, when you've done that. All right, so my eggs are boiled, you know what I'm saying? They're nice and hot, nice and boiled. They are done. Now, your next step, you're gonna drain your eggs. Cause you do not wanna try to touch these eggs right now. They are mad hot and they're gonna burn you. So you drain them jones. Boom, like that. Then you take the cold water. Put the cold water on them. Pull them down. There you go. That's the next step after that. Done getting boiled. Put the cold water on them. They'll be ready to. Alright, bam. So my eggs are now cool enough for me to crack the shell off. And then just take it off. So. Boom. You take the shell off. And all you need is that green, is that yellow part right there. Voila, bam. So, take the yellow part out of the white egg, boom, simple. This is one egg. You're gonna do that for the remainder of the eggs. Ready? I like that. Yeah, so, six eggs, six shells, six yolks, right up in this. This can fuck you. Yeah, you could just fuck you. You're done with them. Now, main focus is this right here. Next thing. Gotta get you this. Don't be embarrassed. Walk up in the store. Grab this drum. Put it in your hand. Put your receipt around the label so nobody sees what it is. But you need this. Make sure you grab this. This at Home Depot for $2.97. Literally. The eggs was $1.99. This drum, $2.97. So, let's go. Now, next step is, now, if I had to be precise, I'd take the cap off, get a little close to that bitch, start pouring. Definitely just want to do, oh, this don't want to come up. Yeah. See, this is the secret sauce right here, ladies and gentlemen. This is the killer motherfucker, right? So, just pour a little bit. I basically cover it. The more the better, honestly. So, step two, add this. 
it should basically look like this, just enough to cover it. So you can look at this video and tell me how much you think that is. But eggs, and then so far, two steps. That's all you need. Boom, step two. Let's go step three. Haha, -ha, step three. Pure cane sugar. You can use any kind of sugar. I have pure cane sugar. You're going to add it to those three supplements right there. Now the main thing that you want to do is make it a Play-Doh. So add enough sugar. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Just like that. Now let's mix this and let's see what it looks like. Alright, so you just want to ball like this. And you want to mix this together. So I'm going to put the phone down. I'm going to mix all this together. But I just want to show you all the main concept of what you're doing next. After you add the sugar, you have your three components. And you are looking to make this like a plate. It shouldn't be crumbs. If it, if it, if it looks like crumbs, you need to add more sugar. It needs to look like a plate. So I'm going to mix this and I'll be back. So it still feels like crumbs to me, so you already know what's going on. Just gonna add some more sugar in that. Oh yeah, cover it in sugar. All right, we back to mixing. We back at it again, a little bit more sugar. Just wasn't enough. Just like All right, y'all, so as y'all can see, that's basically like the Play-Doh. There's no more flakes. That's how you want it to look. You want it to look like a Play-Doh. So I'm basically done here, but I'm gonna add just one more little, uh, uh, a little bit more uh, ingredient just to make sure motherfuckers don't come back. You know what I'm saying? So this is just me. You can do whatever you want, but this is the end result. But I'm gonna just add a little bit, cut it, touch on it. So. Yeah, let me get a little bit. Uh, uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 oh yeah, oh yeah. So a little bit of kick for it. You know what I'm saying? Just to make sure it works. You know what I mean? So now that we have our plate up, we're gonna mix this together and we're going to set our trap. All right. So I have my assistant now. So um, the beautiful Brianna Lanye is holding the camera. Uh, so we have our concoction now. So we literally used three things. We used six eggs. Six eggs. We used, we dappered it with this. I'm not sure about the ingredients, but you're going to want to dapper it with this because this is the killer right here. Yeah. Yeah, right there. Uh-huh, yeah, come on. Okay. Make sure you got that right there. Yeah, that, the acid. that's what you need. And then this is the topper off. You literally need sugar. That's it. You can use any kind of sugar. This is the kind of sugar that I have. So this is the sugar I used. And your end result should look like this. It should look like Play-Doh. This is what the bugs are going to eat that they are going to devour and they are going to die. So basically you use this now and take a little piece. I'm using a literally a lid tray, you can whatever. And you put that right on there. Okay. Probably don't even have to put that much, honestly, but I'm going to do that because I really want them to get out of here. I don't really want them to come. So come eat. Boom. And you can save this so just in case it comes back, you have this stored. You could probably put it in the fridge or something. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with lines, actually. I haven't thought that far yet. I only thought about tonight. All right, so we got three traps set up and that's how your traps should look. So bam, they're gonna come up, they're gonna eat it and they're gonna be all devoured around this area. So wherever you leave these traps at, definitely make sure you have some napkins or a broom or make sure people aren't going inside of that area. We're gonna let these sit overnight and see how many come out and pray. We only seen two. So let's see how many come out now. And let's see how many we can get rid of. This is a proven method to get rid of roaches if you live in Los Angeles. So if you live in Los Angeles, Koreatown, Chinatown area, downtown area, especially, you can use this method, especially if you live in an apartment complex. 
Um, if you live in a situation where you don't control the roaches, they're just there. Use this method right here. We used eggs, we used acid, and we used sugar. And it looks like this, and it's simple and easy, and you only have to do it once every couple of months, or maybe once even once a year. So we're gonna put this out overnight. I'm going to time lapse this video in the morning, and we're gonna see where we're at. But that was the steps that you need to make the secret method to get roaches out of your apartment if you live in Los Angeles, California. All right, so we ended the night. We got six traps set up. Got our area set up. Bam. We're going to put them all over. We got this. So we're going to get these motherfuckers. Got six traps. Time lapse this. Ten in the morning. Let's see what happens. Let's go. All right, y'all, so we time lasted it to the morning. We came out here. There was no bugs. Traps were there. I think it might've been the sugar, so make sure you use regular sugar. I'm gonna try regular sugar. But it also could be a sign that the motherfuckers is gone. And they ate the shit and they didn't die. So let me know if you used it. Comment below. I use pure cane sugar. You should probably use regular sugar. I'm telling you this now, so you cannot blame me. I used what I had. You used the right formula, okay? Six eggs, some uh, boric acid, and then some sugar. Put it all together. It should make a Play-Doh. You take the Play-Doh, you put it onto little lids, put your lids on the floor, and the roaches are gonna come, eat that shit on up, then they're gonna fucking die. You're gonna be very excited and you're gonna be able to live in LA without any roaches. So thank you for watching, share for a friend because we know how living in downtown LA gets. So let's help out another friend. Share this video, man, let's go.